Hey guys, Jerry, BackyardHomesteader.com. I uh, have to warn you, this will probably be a controversial video. And I don't like being like that, but it is what it is. So here goes. A little while ago, I went on the Bet Miner Gardening Group to try to learn some things to pass it on to some of the people in my group and to see what it was really all about. And when I went on the group, I noticed that with every question that was asked, something to sell was offered. And uh, that kind of got me in a little tizzy, let's say. You know, I'm one of these people who love to share whatever I can with anybody. And I questioned them about this, and I was instantly attacked. So I tried to explain that I wasn't there to uh, cause a controversy, I was just trying to learn and was wondering, you know, what made it so great. Because they claim it's the best gardening technique in the world. So I guess for the last 30 years, I've been doing it all wrong. But anyway, to make a long story short, I got booted from the site. <coughs> Excuse me. And, uh, LDS Prepper kind of personally attacked me. Um, about the way I do things. I run the American Seed Alliance. Where everything we do is free. We help people, we give away seeds. I go out and I build community gardens. It costs nothing. So I got to thinking. Because... I'm the kind of person, when I see somebody being done wrong, I cannot keep my big mouth shut. I've always been that way. So anyway, I got to thinking, I'm going to show you people the way I garden, and it's absolutely free, and I guarantee I guarantee you'll get the same results as the midliner or better. And it costs you absolutely nothing. So stick with me here. I'm going to do a little series. And we're going to call this the American Seed Alliance way or the ASA way because I've been doing this this way for 30 years and it has yet to fail me so let me get things organized here and I'll be right back okay now let me get something clear first I know you have the right to spend your money any way you choose to spend it. But in these economic times, money is tight. Prices are going up, food prices are going up, gas prices is going ridiculous. And I'm not saying that this is the best way of doing it. I'm saying this is the way I've done it for 30 years and it's worked. It cost me nothing but time. You'll get the best soil you could ask for. You'll get fertile beds. You'll get worms, which are beneficial to your garden. We all know that. And you'll get some of the best produce you've ever grown. You don't have to feed this garden, it self feeds itself. 
I have little to no problem with bugs. I have problems with rabbits. But let me show you my soil. This is my raised bed. Okay, this is made out of fence pickets. I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six pickets here. I think I paid two dollars a piece for them. So that's twelve dollars for this bed. This dirt, this ain't dirt. This is cow manure and leaves. And I grind the leaves up. Every year I top off my bed, I layer it. Leaves, cow manure, leaves, cow manure. This is what I get. Let me come in close so you can see. I'm trying to focus here. But I guarantee I could dig right here or anywhere in this bed and I'll find a worm. Watch this. There you go. There's a worm. Let me go to another section of the bed. See how rich and dark this is? Let's go over here. Here's some of the old leaves. leaves here. Let's see here. Let's dig down. Let's see what we can find. There you go. Worm. I don't know if you can see him. He's trying to get away from me. Right there. Worm. Look right there. Worm. In the fall, save your leaves. Grind them up. Put them in your beds. Throw a load of cow manure on top of them. And I know some of you don't have excess to cow, excuse me, cow manure. But for those who do, it's like garden gold. I do this to everything. Even my garden that I go over there and till, I take leaves, till them in. Take cow manure, till it in. I did this bed last year. You see how good it breaks down? And all it takes is a little time. I'll take grass clippings. I don't have to put any compost tea or anything on this because every time it rains it feeds it. The only thing I have to do is pull weeds once in a while. I'm going to show you another bit. Weeds in it because we've had four days of torrential rain. Look at these onions. Tell the onions. Take it to another bed. Cauliflower. Lettuce. And if you recall, this was eat to the ground by a rabbit. But look at that. So, what I'm going to do. I'm putting a challenge out there to the Midliner Garden System. I guarantee, plant for plant, I can match or beat you. I guarantee it. 
And I don't like to be this way. But daggone it, you attack me personal. You know? I went there for information. And you attacked me. And then when I spoke my mind, you booted me from the site. You know, and that's not what Gordon's about. We're here to help one another. I believe in my heart, that is what God did put me on this earth for, is to help others. Not to drain their pockets. So for the next few weeks, I'm going to show you how I garden. You can make your own choices. But I guarantee it won't cost you nothing. If you can get access to the things I use, it will be absolutely free. Other than the, what it costs to build a bed or if you do it on the ground, it costs you nothing. So anyway, stay tuned. Because I've got a lot more to show you. I want to say God bless to each and every one of you. And we'll see you next time.